Folks, if you watch my channel, you know that I like to fly with a GoPro lens in my FPV camera. My HS1177 is, is or sometimes it's a Runcam Swift. Whatever it is, I like to put a GoPro lens on it. Uh, and the reason for that is that the GoPro lens has much better optics than the, the tiny little lenses that we tend to get for these, these cameras. And it has a really nice field of view. It's wider than a 2.8 millimeter, but narrower than a 2.1 millimeter. A really, really sweet spot there. So you might be asking, and some people have asked this, why don't you just fly with a 2.5 millimeter lens that is commonly available? And there's a valid point there. The GoPro lens is larger, it's heavier, and it's more expensive than the 2.5 millimeter lens. But I've always said that I feel like it gives a better picture, but I've never had a chance to do a direct comparison until today. And that's what this video is about. I recently had the opportunity to fly a another person's copter and it came with a 2.5 millimeter lens on it. And I have to tell you, I hated it. I really hated it. I mean, I hate to be that emphatic about something negative, but it really is true. Especially on yaw moves, the sort of way the fisheye came on at the edge of the image, the objects just seem to sort of jump into view in a really distracting and disorienting way. I really didn't like it. So what I've got here is I've got a video where I'm going to show you, there's no flight video here because I really wanted to do a, a very apples to apples side by side comparison. Uh, so what I did is I held the copter and I just spun around in a circle. And then I turned the copter on its side and I spun around in a circle so you could see if there's any difference between yaw and pitch moves. And then I put the GoPro on and I did the same thing. And you can decide for yourself which looks better. To my eye, at least, there is way more fisheye distortion on the 2.5 millimeter lens. Objects that come into frame seem to distort more as they move from the edge of the frame toward the center of the frame, whereas the GoPro gives generally a, a little bit of a flatter uh, look. Uh, it feels like the color on the GoPro is a little bit better as well, although it's a little hard to tell here in my fluorescent lit office, which is not the best environment for color fidelity. Anyway, leave what you think down in the comments, but for me, I am st still sticking with the GoPro. I still think it's uh, like the way it looks the best, uh, and that's that's how I feel. Happy flying.